watch and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to discuss Chris Clark's Ceramics is the Bomb. I have nothing against ceramics. I've, I've taken a class in ceramics back in my first year of college. And we got to make some cool sort of ceramic. I remember I made a plate and mine was like extra badass because I had the Operation IV Unity dude on it. And, uh, you know, and um, it looked so killer. And I remember when I set, we had to set them wherever it was while we were working on them so that, you know, they wouldn't get damaged or whatever. But right where I set mine was right below this thing where they had this massive box of shit and it fell on it and crushed it. So, whereas I agree that ceramics are the bomb. Fuck, man, that was like, it was a cool plate too because it was an Operation Ivy plate. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So yes, so this, it's interesting because this is sort of, his last release from his early era, like his, his, his infancy, I suppose. Um, it would be right after this that he would release the career changing. And for me, like, oh my God, like around 2005, that was, that was, that was life changing when that came out. Like I thought I knew what Clark was up to through uh, Clarence Park, through Empty the Bones of You and this, but I obviously didn't because Body Riddle was this whole other thing. Now, what I will say, though, is initially or overall, I've always sort of framed things as the first three releases from Clark sound very walled off and, and un, unto themselves, I suppose. Like, they're very exclusive. And then as of Body Riddle, his sound would change so completely for that period. And then I would say... Well, then again, no, with Turning Dragon again, he fucking, wow, he just keeps switching up his sound. But nonetheless, I would usually make the claim that you couldn't hear what was coming on Body Riddle from any of the first three releases. And that's just not true. Ceramics in the Bomb. Ceramics in the Bomb. Jesus fucking Christ. Ceramics is the Bomb has a peppering, a peppering, a peppering, a peppering of what we were in store for with Body Riddle. When I listen to it, especially, of course, post Body Riddle, it's obvious. And I mean, there's no way for me to listen to it pre Body Riddle anymore because 2005 has come and gone. But nonetheless, um, Ceramics and the Bomb does have a number of sort of instances on it where it does lend itself to the next shift in his sound, which would be the, like I said, Body Riddle, the massive Body Riddle. And it's on here and you can hear it coming. And that is exciting because at the time when I got this, this was of course prior to Body Riddle. I had no idea. I just figured, all right, this is cool. You know, there's a handful of songs on here and they're cool and whatnot, you know, great. If I say cool again, cool, cool. They're cool, everything's cool. It's not that cool. Gotta stop saying cool, stop saying cool. Think of cool now, the dog from the Trailer Park Boys. Anyways, yeah, what I liked about this was, um, this felt more accessible than uh, Empty the Bones of You. I found that uh, the, the tracks on Empty the Bones of You were, were sort of walled off and very exclusive sounding. Like I wasn't able to pick out individual tracks off there that I loved other than the, the album opener, which of course, I can't remember the name of now to save my life. That's Indigo Optimus. Other than, whoop, Fuck, I almost fell. Ow, God, the panic, I hurt my ribs. Ow, I thought I was gonna fall back and everything and I freaked out. Oh, dude, that fucking sucks. Ow, anyways, um, other than Indigo Optimus, I found that Empty the Bones of You is either something you listen to in its entirety or you just forget it exists because I was never really able to pull off individual songs out there to the degree that I was with Clarence Park or uh, subsequent releases like Body Riddle Forward, I found a bunch of individual tracks that are really strong on their own, but I felt that Empty the Bones of You was better as a complete package. That is not how I feel about ceramics is the goddamn my side hurts. I tensed right up. Fuck. Anyways, um, I don't feel that way. Off here, the gavel's on here, slow spines are on here. I mean, there, it, it feels like this release can be picked apart and it's not so complete. And I did find this to be more fun than um, I did than the, wait, 
I did find this one to be way more fun than I did uh, uh, Empty the Bones of You to be found fun. All right, I'm done. I fucked this up completely. Sorry. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.